Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have the F-22 and the Su-35. It should be quite an interesting fight. Both of the aircraft are capable of doing some pretty crazy things, so it should be interesting. The Su-35 has a helmet-mounted sight, which the F-22 doesn't have. So, I don't know, it should make the dynamic of the fight pretty interesting. Um, as always, big thank you to Longshot for flying this video with me. Uh, link to his channel in the video description below. All right guys, let's go ahead and get started with the video. All right, guys, so we're going to have to really push the F-22 in this one. Uh, long shot in the Su-35 today. I think he's going to give us a hell of a fight, so I'm going to have to really push the F-22 to squeeze out all she's got, which means I'm going to have to fly it on the edge of what the F-22 is capable of, the mod. And um, that could mean that I could lose control and, you know, bad things can happen, but if I can keep it right on the edge there... We might see some special things from the F-22 today, and we're going to need it against the Su-35. There's the merge. I'm going to keep it one circle here. And keep in mind that he has a helmet-mounted sight, and I don't. So he's going to get missile off first, I figure. Yeah, there's the missile. Luckily, no track. Good luck here. Fox 2. That'll miss. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he actually hit me there. Alright, we're still flying fine. Let's get a lock here. Fox 2. So close. Again, it's gonna miss though. And looks like he's gonna come one circle with me. Remember, he still has a missile though. So I still have to keep this Wes jammed in order for him not to get a missile off at me. Um, I do have to go for a gun kill though. Which is what I'm trying to do here. Just trying to get nose on. Come on. Almost had the pipper on him there. But I mean, at this point, he's in trouble. F-22 is... Well positioned on his six, he's not going to get away unless I make some critical mistake here. And I think the kill is coming right here. I definitely hit him there. So he shot, I think, my wingtip, and I think I shot his wingtip. So we're even now. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, there we go. Beautiful. Just crossed the nose there. Got an engine fire, and there's the ejection. All right. That was a good fight. That was a good fight by long shot, and I know as he warms up, this is going to get spicier and spicier. But for the most part, that is the F-22 experience. Once he gets on your six, there's not a whole lot you can do. All right, here we go with round two. Once again, we're gonna override the FCS systems and uh, give me full control of the F-22. I don't want the flight computers limiting me in any way. Um, and we're gonna go into this merge again. Now keep in mind, again, the Su-35 is more than likely gonna get the missile off first. So pre-flaring is gonna be very important for the F-22. And also the reduced IR signature of the F-22 is also very helpful in this situation. 
All right. And there's the pre-flaring from the Su-35 missile. Once again, does not track. Avoid that nose this time. Good. Ah, oh, look at this. A little bit of, almost over-rotated the F-22 there with the rudder. And now I over-rotated. <laughs> but this is what I was saying about flying it on the edge. And then if you overdo it, it's going to cost you. I'm putting in reverse rudder here, see if we can pull out of that spin. Very good. No lock. Can't get a lock on him there. And again, no lock. I should have a lock here. There we go. Fox 2. Missile doesn't track. Oh, that's upsetting. That's upsetting. All right, no worries. Fox 2 from him, jammed Wes, missile couldn't turn enough there. Dude, these should all be locks. Yeah, there we go, finally. It's so late on the locking for some reason. That's not usually what happens with the F-22. So offset circle, he's coming around out of plane. Gonna avoid that shot, reverse that turn. Try to pull him into a one circle here. Ooh. Oh, oh, <laughs> he's so close. Long shot's really coming in for the kill this time. Oh, please don't hit the ground, please don't hit the ground, please don't hit the ground. Oh, we just cut somebody's lawn. All right, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah, that's not good. Sukhoi 35 is one of those planes that, again, once he gets on your 6, you're in trouble. It's very, very difficult to get a Su-35 off you. Um, now he's taking shots at me here, and I don't have a lot of airspeed. I'm slow. He just hit me there. It's very bad. Once again, I'll try to reverse into a one circle, but this looks very... Oh, <laughs> how am I alive? I feel like he's shot me like five times by now. <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There he is. On my six. Uh, see, he's just in the perfect control zone position here. I'm not going to be able to get him off. Alright, Hail Mary attempt here. Long shot really came out last time, breathing fire out of the gate there. Um, a little bit of late locking by the F-22, but I don't think it would have made a difference. What would have made a difference is if my 9X had tracked and it had smoked him um, when I fired it. But, you know, you only get opportunities like that once against something like a Su-35. So that one probably cost me. Um, but fair play to long shot once again into the merge here. He was very aggressive last round. Another Fox 2 from him. Again, no track. Reverse one circle again. I didn't want to fire the Fox 2 there because we were too close. Alright. And I'm using a rudder here to spin the aircraft. Fox 2 again. No track for him. A little bit 
little bit of a flat spin going here. If he does show up somewhere, I lost visual on him. That's unfortunate. I was looking for another flat spin 360 no scope kill, but it didn't work out. All right, so there he is. We are slowly getting into a deck transition. You notice there once again, it didn't lock for some reason. And it looks like he's coming one circle. Oh, finally a lock, but we're too close. One circle again. I am feeling a little bit better about this. Again, too close and facing the sun. And I switched the guns and I clicked it and it didn't fire. I don't know what happened there. I may be having technical issues with my F-22 here. We may have a system failure. <laughs> my gun may not be working. Let's try it here, hold on. Hold on, gun, gun, gun. This is too close for missiles anyway, so let's test the gun. All right, there we go. I was pressing the wrong button. That's my bad. <laughs> I can't play the F-22. Uh, almost had Pipper on that time. Okay, Fox 2 here as he pulls away. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, wrong button. Fox 2. <laughs> And I just blew up that guy's house. <laughs> oh, this is a disaster. I'm just spraying 20 mil and 9x's into people's houses. Possible kill right here. Come on, come on, come on. Right in the face. There you go. That's a dead pilot right there. Shot him right in the face. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for me. I got no tag view today for you because there's nothing that happened today that we haven't covered in other videos. Nothing uh, insane really went down. Um, I hope we proved that the F-22 is an amazing aircraft, but it can be shot down due to pilot error. No matter how good your aircraft is, if you make a mistake, anybody can shoot you down. So a uh, big thank you to Longshot for coming out and really demonstrating how aggressive the Su-35 can be. Congratulations on killing the F-22. Um, I can't take that away from him. Thank you to all of you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.